Hi, my name is Jasper. In this video, I will show you how I did this. This is more a breakdown than a tutorial, but hopefully you will learn something. I used Affinity Photo, but you can use any photo editing software like Photoshop or GIMP. And then I import all the assets into Blender because I treated this as a 3D scene and I will show it later. Now the main goal for me now at this point is to separate all the assets. So as you can see, I try to separate the foreground like here the sea with the boat or the ship and the cup. Then I have uh, the sun, the clouds and these towers. So I started uh, separating the background as you can see here and I just painted this and I separated also this background in three different layers so I have background layer is level 0, level 1 and also level 2 here so then I separated like this uh, ship with the cup and I did the same for uh, the clouds and also the sea so here I also separated the C in three different layers. As you can see, I have level zero, then I have level one and also level two. This will help me to create that parallax effect. Then after this, I imported all these 2D textures into a single texture like this one. This is 2048 by 2048 and it's actually the maximum value you can use, maximum size. And for this I use a PNG texture, so because I need the transparency and you will see later in Blender how I use that. Here we are in Blender and this is the actual scene I imported into Lens Studio. Now it might seem confusing, but uh, it's really not, I just explain everything. The main box is a container where you place all your scene and if you apply a transparent uh, material inside Lens Studio, you can give that illusion of like a portal or a framing. You will see this later. So we have uh, 2D planes like this and also 3D elements. These are basically just uh, the textures I created inside uh, Affinity. Um, I just separated them so I can create that sense of depth. When you import them, you can just move them around inside also uh, Line Studio or here in Blender. And the more you separate them, the more you move along the axis, the more you can create that uh, parallax effect. Here we have the 3D elements, we have the towers. I just modeled them uh, using the reference image. Then the sun, it's basically a UV, uh, a UV sphere and I will show you later how I did this, but it's really simple. Behind that we have this uh, face. So once you imported your image, you can press 1 on the numpad and use this as a reference. If you press Shift A, you can add a mesh, we add in this case a plane. Align with the view, so you have this plane here and you can just reduce the size. Now if you go into edit mode, pressing here, you can now edit this plane and this is just a 2D plane. Here I scale this on the Z axis and I press S and Z on my keyboard and I can now scale this along this axis. I select the side edges, I scale this on the X axis. In edit mode I extrude and scale it along its vertical axis delete the back face and now I will extrude it again on the y-axis so 
So as you can see, if I delete this face, now I have this uh, rectangle. It is basically uh, the same occluder with different measures, but this is it. I create a plane, align with the view. Um, now we don't need uh, the occluder, so I just hide it. I just kill it and in wireframe mode I try to uh, fit the image, the picture. So once you've done this, uh, you have to do a couple of things. So press N and as you can see we have a scale. Now you want to have when you model something in Blender and you have to import in another software to have um, a uniform scale. So to do this uh, you just press Ctrl A and you apply you can apply scale, rotation, and everything else. It's really important to apply the scale so you can avoid uh, issues when you use modifiers or you sculpt, or even if you import the model into another 3D software. So now I create the material. You see it, it is uh, messed up because I have to UV unwrap the plane. And so once you've done this, you can see this is the result. We have a plane with the transparency. So to model the sun, I use the UV sphere and it's really simple. So you just um, create a UV sphere here, align with to view. So in edit mode, I just selected some faces and pressing E, I just extruded everything. Then I just scale it this, selecting everything, I scale it along the Y axis. So just make sure to uh, have all your 3D objects inside your occluder, otherwise uh, they will stick out and you will have some issues later. Now I will show you how to animate this. Select the sun, you press N. I will rotate the sun along the Y axis. Lens Studio allows you to use only 10 seconds, so this is actually the maximum value. So you move to frame number one, you press here on the Y with the right click button and insert single keyframe. Then you move to the last frame and you move one more, 301. In this way you will have a loop animation. And I will spin this uh, 360 degrees. So I will type 360. Now you will press T, so you will change the interpolation because by default I think it's set to Bezier. What I want is loop animation, so I need a continuous movement. That's why I select everything here pressing A in the timeline. I press T and I set to linear. We are ready to export the file, so go under File, Export FBX, go under Armature and you uh, disable Add Leaf Bones, also go under Bake Animation and disable All Actions, and you're done, you just save the file. To set up your scene you can just open Line Studio and you will find the tutorial, I will leave a link in the description. And you can just follow along this to set up everything you need, like the markers. Don't forget to download this, because you will need it later. After you follow the tutorial, you will have to import your model. You can just press here, add new, import files. And you can just select your FBX file. And here I have mine. And as you can see, here I have all the meshes. And here you have all the animations you used or you created. 
Now you have to take this file, it's a prefab, and you will have to import inside here. As I did here, as you can see, this is my FBX file. Here I have the occluder you saw in Blender, this one. If I remove the material, you will see this is the box I used. So if I disable it, this one and also this one, you can see this is my scene. If you select the prefab here, you will see the animations you exported and imported here inside Lens Studio. You will leave this in autoplay unless you have some kind of uh, behavioral script like approaching or touching. And so this is the scene and you don't have to do anything else. So one more thing is to update this stationary image. Before you publish the lens, you will have to use this snap code. To have the new one updated, you will have to publish the lens, wait the approval, Later on, you will have just to update the lens you created with this new image.